So in today's survival let's play we head back into the kingdom we update one of the villager houses and it looks in my opinion very nice so make sure you check out until the end also quick shout out to bisect hosting for sponsoring this server um if you haven't already go ahead and check out their link down below in the description you can get yourself 25 percent off using my code and you can get yourself an amazing server and even have your own survival world with, with a few friends so i highly recommend it go check it out i'd really appreciate that and yeah let's see if we reach 10 likes in today's video without further ado enjoy the video Hey everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft server. Let's play. As you guys can tell, we are not completely done with the castle, but I've done a lot of off-screen work and I've also been streaming on uh, YouTube as well, but I want to be streaming on Twitch. So make sure you guys go ahead and follow my Twitch down below in the description. I'll be streaming a little bit more often there too, but I want to show you guys a little bit of the castle because I do have a few plans. It's time for me to go back into the village and work on a few of the upgraded village houses. As you guys can tell, um, this one right here that we're standing on the roof of, which I don't know why I'm using using ender pearls a lot. I should stop doing that because we need to save up for ender pearls so we can actually go and find the stronghold. I know a lot of you want me to go to the end and that will happen. I promise you guys. Um, but yeah, so that house is going to look very similar to this house. We're going to get working on that. I have a few cool uh, different designs to make it stand out just a little bit different because we do want everything to look a little unique on here. But in the meantime, there is a brand new pathway that leads up into the castle and there are some banners. We have some banners that represent the letter A for Alexson and we also have a flag that's uh, the themed is uh, blue and white. I think that looks good. We're going to go ender pearl over there until we get an elytra. We're going to have to just keep ender pearling. As you can tell, this is the pathway. It's very simple. Um, and I still just wanted to give it a little bit of uh, a, sim a similar look to the castle, you know, stone build all the way around. And I have some big plans for this. This castle is not going to be complete whatsoever. Not yet. We still have a lot of work to do because like I said, this castle is going to have a lot of our items in it. Okay. So this is the banner. I think it looks really good. Um, we made it the letter A. We had some tr test trials. Um, the one of them did not turn out good. Look almost like the letter I, but this one officially looks like the letter A, and it's going to be the official banner of uh, the kingdom and the castle. As we go inside, you can tell all the walls are completed. Decided to use uh, spruce logs instead of strip spruce logs. I think it just looks good like that, adds a little bit more character to it, and a lot of you guys said the same thing. All the walls have been completely finished, closed in, cleaned up, and the towers are all finished, so it is a big, big progress. And yeah, we have llamas in here because a wandering villager uh, just kind of came up on me while I was doing some off-screen work. And uh, yeah, we don't speak about what happened to him, but yeah, we have llamas now. <laughs> All right, so the next thing I wanted to show you, uh, which I think is, a, is a, a little bit of a nice detail to have. Oh, we have some banners. I'll, I'll get to that point. I'll get to that point before. We have some trap doors. As you can tell, the reason why I've added trap doors is one, does it really have to be raining out? <laughs> After, I'll, I'll just show you guys what exactly this does. It's really just for a look. So we have trap doors, looks good, but let's say this castle is getting attacked. We can open up the trap doors and we can have some guards up top here. And it's uh, like a little bit of a small little bit of protection. Protection. You know, it covers, I think, like half the body, almost like the whole body. So it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. But let's go head over to the bed so we can get this rain and thunderstorm to end. All right. So uh, one more thing I wanted to show you is, yeah, we have our pet, right? Our pet dog here. We do not have a name for him. I am going to be officially naming him once we get a name tag. A lot of you guys have been saying great suggestions in the comment section for names for our dog here. By the next episode, I will pick the name. So you guys still have time to uh, give any suggestions in the comment section. Now, you guys are probably wondering what type of wizardry have I created over here, okay? This is not what I've created. This actually is inspired by System Z. I'll have his channel link down below in the description. Uh, he created some cool stuff with chains and what you can do with them, and it was like a set block command that you could just type. And So yeah, you could just set any block and replace it with a berry bush, um, and you can set up the age. Like It's like an age three if you guys want to know the specifics, but go check out System Z's video. I think it adds a lot more character to the inside of the castle, and we do have some lanterns hanging just to change up a little bit of the design. One more thing I wanted to ask you before we head over back to the village is I've added a staircase that's not even close to finish. It's mostly just a structure design, but I was thinking of actually clearing out this uh, all this dirt here, making a wall, and, and building something continued with this castle into this huge hill here. Um, thinking that maybe we can have like a, a trophy room for all the stuff that we collected in the world, or we can build like a big hole in the middle of the castle and have different layers underground. That could be kind of interesting. We don't want to make this like any ordinary castle. We want to make it unique to 
to this to this to this survival let's play um and one more thing is check out we've done a lot of work with banners and i learned a lot on how to make banners look really cool but one of the best things that i think i created um is first of all like i said is the letter a it looks absolutely amazing and we do have something that we got when we went uh to the piglin fortress and these right here are this is like the piglin banner and that is by getting one of these and you just go into the loom and you place this with the color dye and the banner that you want and it creates this little pig looking nose thing so i think it looks great and what we decided to do during the live stream is make it into a shield so we have a red version and a gray version uh let me know which one you like best in the comment section but i do like uh just the feel of it i think it's cool and uh it has a really nice look so we're gonna go and just take off one of the shields so we don't need that and we're gonna keep one shield on for now we're gonna get rid of these banners and we're gonna head over back to the kingdom because it's about time we go back there and actually do some uh proper work on the kingdom and the villages there because the village Need, need their updated houses to look a lot better. I'm just seeing if there's anything else that I want to take with me in the meantime. I think that's everything I want. So we're going to go head over back to the kingdom. We're going to close the door here. We'll do some more work on the castle eventually. Uh, but let's head over, use the ender pearl, and uh, see what happens if we get any damage here. Oh gosh. Okay, not too bad. Actually, we're exactly where I wanted to go. We have a little barrel here, which a lot of you know, I love using the barrels, but this barrel is actually uh, useful. It does have some items in here that we're going to use. Um, and this structure is exactly similar to that structure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up a little bit of it, show you guys, you know, the, the start of it, and then we're going to try to complete this. It's going to be what originally was uh, the this like enchantment room, although now we do have an enchantment room with a villager in there and a lectern. So pretty much this guy this is his home we're gonna really try to upgrade it it's fortune too we're gonna have to make a villager breeding system too so that way we don't have to worry about all the villagers losing their jobs but yeah i'm sorry to this guy his house is going to be removed we're gonna put him uh, temporarily inside you know we're just gonna leave him outside over there that's just gonna be his temporary spot for now so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take down the rest of this village um and i'm gonna add up a little bit of walls and you guys are gonna see just exactly what i mean with that all right so i took down the villager's house it's completely gone he's very confused as you can tell he has no clue he's coming at me he, he wants to square up with me okay that's what i thought back off back off um so the next thing that we're gonna do is like every other of the buildings we're sticking with stone so we're just gonna go ahead and just place a level i think it's three levels of stone on all sides of the walls like we did with the other base okay and i'm just gonna try to do something a little bit different we're gonna try to do like a time lapse here so that you guys can just see um everything be being built at a faster speed with some cool music chill music in the background um because you guys already know how this looks and I just want to get the progress done as fast as possible to see if I can finish this base um, and make it look somewhat similar. Now, there's one thing before I go into the time lapse is I do have ourselves some light gray concrete. This is going to be the theme of this building. Uh, the other one is white concrete. Okay, so I want to just mix with neutral colors. Maybe the next one can be green or you guys can pick and let me know in the comment section. So I'm going to go ahead and start this time lapse and see how much of this we can get done. I'm probably going to pause it once we finish doing the bottom base um, and just adding up the walls and then we'll do with the concrete and the roofing and all that good stuff. Alrighty, here we go. Alright, so as you guys can tell uh, by the time lapse, I added all the walls and then I took a little break because I wanted to, like I told you guys, I wanted to make this look a little bit different than what we have there. So the first thing that if you paid attention, you notice how the walls are actually not um, layered inside by one. So they're really, it's just all flat. The other one actually has a little bit of an indent for the brick um, and the wood pops up a little bit more. I wanted to make it look a little bit different and that one has no windows while this one will have windows. Uh, so check it out on the left side, actually on the 
the right side, I've completed a very basic design so you all can get an idea of what I'm trying to do to make it look a little bit different. Now, the whole structure of the, the building is very similar, although there's different details to it. So I've decided to instead add trap doors on where the spruce logs are and then create windows in the middle evenly and put fence posts. Now, this is mid medieval theme, so I didn't want to put uh, windows. I felt like fence posts would just actually complete the look. So we're going to go ahead and put the rest of the fence posts. Then we're going to grab the uh, trap doors and just place them down like this. Now, <laughs> I think you guys already noticed there's a lot of barrels already in action. I already placed the barrels. You guys know barrels are the way to go for me when it comes to building a med medieval look. Um, it just looks a lot better. So yeah, I like that. Okay, good. So uh, the next thing that I want to show you that I did on the other side, maybe you didn't see it or pay attention to it, but the middle block here actually is, um, hold on. No, this should be a stair. I think I'm just messing this up now. What we're going to do is we're going to remove the middle stairs of where the windows are. I was thinking of somehow trying to make an overhang, but it really was not working. So I figured this would be uh, the best bet. It adds a little bit more to it and it kind of just signifies that, yeah, it's like a little overhang, a small one, nothing too crazy in my opinion. Now we're just going to try to go on the inside and we're going to go ahead and place our light gray concrete. All right, there we go. We're just going to finish up. There we go. Perfect. So that's all of them. Uh, and then we're just going to go on this side and place another three. This guy's going to get a sick looking house. I'm telling you, once this is all done, the villager is going to be like, you know what? I think it was a good idea to hire Alex and to build our, our kingdom here. So now we're going to do that. And also, it only makes sense. There's a thriving economy in the kingdom. That only means that the houses have to match the look. So that is exactly what we're trying to do for all the villagers here. And I feel like it's taken me some time to actually design all of these uh, houses. There's still like two more here. There's one more on that side. Uh, so there's a lot of work yet to still be completed. Um, but yeah, we also, I want to make that into a potion room. As you know, it is a potion room, but I want to make it look really cool. Uh, but let's take a look from this side and see how the light gray concrete looks. I think that looks very nice. It definitely adds a little bit more contrast compared to that building there. And man, is this going to look awesome when it's done? We're going to have so many cool looking uh, village houses in here. Like if you look from here and here, it just, it's coming along really nicely. I can't wait to finish those. And also it is very nice that all of our houses are a lot taller and not just some small little shack. You know, it's time to make these places look very, very big. So I'm going to go back up to the top here. We're going to continue adding the rest of the concrete. So we're going to do the same thing that we did on the left side and just do it on this side. So let's go ahead, place down our concrete. I think I just... There we go. Let's do that. And then we have to add trap doors right on the overhang of where the roof is going to go. Now with the roof, I'm going to do the roof off screen uh, because the roof just is honestly one of the most annoying things to build. Uh, it, it is so difficult, at least for me, in my opinion, when you're building a complex roof like that. Um, I'll try to do a time lapse, but like I said, I'm going to do my best um, and try to show you guys how I build that roof because I know a lot of you probably want to see how it's done. So uh, fair enough. We're going to go and just finish adding the rest of these blocks over here. Okay, that should be all the gray, the light gray. We have a lot left, which is pretty nice. That's actually decent for us. So we're going to go back down here, remove the dirt, um, and let's see how it looks now with both sides completed. Now, I'm, I'm debating if I should make windows. I forgot. Actually, we did make small windows. So the middle section of where the concrete is is going to get removed and placed down with fence posts. So let's go back up to the top and see how that will look. Um, from this side. So there we go. And then we could probably and what I want to do is uh, we're going to utilize the top floor in this house and the other house too. I want to make like a little rooms for the villagers. So let's go ahead and add those fence posts. Now we can remove the rest of this dirt. It's raining once again. Oh my gosh, this world is cursed. It's only getting so much rain. A lot of you have been saying to make a golem farm. We will be making one. It's just going to take some time once it's all done. I just want to work on the village a little bit more, do a few other details. But yeah, this is this is looking a million dollars right here. Okay. I want to do the roof so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take another break and i'm going to try and do another um time lapse of me working on this roof so yeah let's see how that works <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, everyone, so I've done a little bit more details to it. As you can see, there was the time lapse, and yeah, I've done a little bit off screen too, just so we can get some progress done and try to complete this uh, full build. Now, check it out. There's a few details that have changed. Obviously, the roof is completely finished. It's very similar to the roof that we see on this village, although it doesn't have some items, like it doesn't have fence posts, but it's still similar. It still has a similarity to it, so that's the goal. That was the end goal. Now, one thing I was doing um, was I wanted to try to work with some spruce stripped logs, um, I felt the need to do that because one I don't know I just felt like we didn't we it doesn't really make sense for us to still try to keep the exact same pattern with stone on the bottom I think if we try to make it a little bit different it will also add a lot more character to the kingdom so inside we do have a very cool looking wall in my opinion and if we have a second floor it's all gray at the top and the villagers could have a pretty cool room up there so I think it's a beneficial idea one that I think we have to do so I'm just gonna place down our uh, spruce logs all the way around and we're just gonna strip them like this and we're gonna keep them in the same pattern and and then we're going to have our door in the middle. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and strip that wood. Perfect. And uh, let's actually make our door right now so we don't forget. There we go. Let's get our door. We are going to place it like this and check it out. I think... Oh, the villager already likes the place. It's, it's already a winner. <laughs> so it's just those. Perfect. So the whole interior is completely finished. Um, we do have to add the rest of this villagers literally has been hopping in and out in and out in and out I don't know why I really don't know why uh, we're gonna move your lectern um, Hopefully you don't lose your job as we do this. I'm gonna place your lectern right in the center here um, Let's hope he doesn't lose his uh, There it is. There it is. Okay. Nope. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's gonna lose his job, isn't he? Oh close one villager Thank you for not losing your job or quitting on me because I kind of got a little nervous. Let's go ahead and strip that too. And what we could do is we could... Ooh, wait, how would this look if we put doors on... No, not that side. We need to put the door on this side. Let's see how this would look. Ooh, that actually looks kind of interesting. So let's do the same thing on this side. That looks pretty cool. Not going to lie. I do like the look of that. And we could put a slab right on the ground there. And we could divide the room. So like back there, we can put all types of different shelves up. Well, now if you're going to do that, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look bad either this way. Um, he can walk up to it, but the, oh, great. You're going to just go crazy with those doors. I already have a good feeling about that. Just, just this villager is a bot. It's a bot. He's happy. I'm just going to leave him there, okay? We'll fix this up uh, in the future. We could add some, um, I don't know if I want to add barrels. He might quit his job and join the fisherman squad. So we're going to leave that for now, but uh, that, that's, that's bugging over there. Now, this side here, as you can tell, doesn't have windows on the top. It's not, there's no roof on the top, little, um, like window room. So I'm going to go to the top and show you how exactly do we not have any more? Yeah, there we go. Uh, show you guys how I did the other side, because I know a lot of you like to see how I make these builds. Um, so I'll show you how to make these small little windows inside here to grab your staircases. Make sure you have slabs with you. Um, and then after that, you're just going to place the staircase on this side like this. Um, you're going to do the same thing going outwards. Here we go. And then we're going to break this block, place a staircase. We're going to replace uh, this block here, put a staircase in there. And then finally, what you're going to want to do is you're going to add one more staircase on the other side just to kind of complete it on both sides. And then you're going to remove the bottom staircase like this. And you're going to put uh, just a normal block of that color so that way it blends in. And that's it. And then you're going to add yourself a slab. The final touch is to break the block there so it connects with all of them. Add a slab. And then you can add yourself a spruce stairs like that. And it's completely finished. And then all you have to do, add a little window down there. And you could put your fence post. You could put your glass, your gate, whatever you would like. And that's all completely done. I just fell to the bottom. But that's that's all you have to do. That's the tutorial. Very simple. I'm going to do the other side off stream, um, off screen. And uh, yeah, that's that's the build, everyone. I'm pretty happy with it. I think we did a lot of good work. Everything looks good. I'm very happy with this whole episode. We did a lot. The castle's looking great in the distance. And we have our a new addition to the village and it's looking fantastic so if you guys enjoyed today's episode make sure you go ahead and subscribe hit that notification bell let me know in the comment sections anything else that you have for ideas um, that I can add to the village and throughout this episodes uh, future episodes I mean but yeah thanks again for watching make sure you hit that like button and check out all the social media links down below in the description and don't forget if you want to get yourself your own server go ahead and check the link to get your own server using my code you get 25% off your first month without further ado, guys my name is Alex and peace out and stay foxy